Hello my crafty friends, I hope you all have a lovely week and today I'm back with foiling. I have here the new Spellbinders foiling kit and uh, it is perfect for the season. It comes with uh, plates that do foil as well as dies that cut out all those images. You will get a mushroom, an acorn, lots of leaves, a sentiment for you to foil and a copper foil roll which is perfect for the season. So let's start playing. And as I'm playing today, I was wondering, do you have a foiling machine? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. I love playing with my foiling machine. At first, I was very skeptical about it. I thought that it would be yet another machine that I would never use. However, I find that once you get used to it, you will end up with projects that are looking very elegant and uh, very professional. And if you are a card maker, I'm sure you're going to have lots of fun with it. I think it is a great uh, thing to put it on the list of your Christmas presents. Now I'm going to foil everything and I do have a brown uh, cardstock with the sentiment. I will change it into another color later on. But for now I'm creating my sandwich, pressed the button. I was waiting for that uh, uh, light to stop flashing. And now I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine twice, back and forth. I don't use a paper seam in between those seams. I see that other crafters may use it or don't. It depends really on your um, uh, die cutting machine. I don't need it. I find that I get a perfect result with the sandwich as it is. And here is my sentiment foiled on this brown cardstock. However, I didn't like that uh, how that was looking on top of the finished card, so I will change it into craft later on. In the set, you do get dies to cut out all your foiled images, and I did repeat the same process to end up with a bunch of those die cuts, since I'm planning to create a wreath. I also foiled a panel. This is uh, in brown cardstock, and I did use a set, a foiling set that I have from, I believe, February, last February. I did use the same foil, the copper one, that looks beautiful on top of uh, brown cardstock, and I think these are perfect colors for fall projects. So all I need to do now is to add some color on all my die cuts. For that you can go with uh, Distress Oxides, that's exactly what I'm doing here and uh, to make it easier for me I'm just using my finger dabbers. You can also go with uh, your Copic markers, your alcohol markers if you like. Keep in mind that when you go over the foiled lines, they are going to resist alcohol markers, which is great, as well as any distress ink. For coloring everything, I'm going with my favorite color compost for fall. I'm mainly working with uh, aged mahogany and fire brick for the reds, peeled paint for uh, greens and uh, wild honey for yellows. I am going to throw in a little bit of vintage photo, as well as uh, some fossilized amber. These are all beautiful distress ink colors for your fall projects. Once you color everything, make sure to go over them with a clean towel or a paper towel just to make sure that you don't have any extra ink laying on top of your foiled areas. In the set you will also find dies to cut out those little branches that uh, come with lots of uh, tiny little flowers. I'm putting them together at the back just because I think that was easier. One of those branches have uh, yellowish flowers, the other one will end up with red ones. I'm not going to use them as they are, I will cut them out later on, but I need to have a bunch of those uh, die cuts since I'm planning to create a leaf and I don't know from the start how many of them I'm going to use. Now, since I want to create a wreath, to make it easier on me, I created a ring out of uh, brown cardstock. I just used two circle dies, one inside the other. And this is uh, not going to show at all, it's just a guide, like a template for me, on where I'm going to stick my leaves. And now it's just a matter of sticking everything around that ring. I'm working on a scrap piece of uh, white paper here, so you can see better what I'm doing. Of course, you can stick that uh, ring directly on top of your uh, background panel and then go ahead and stick everything down. I just decided to do it that way. And I'm not going to stick the leaves completely flat. I'm leaving the tips 
uh, a little bit curved up so that uh, it gives some dimension and I'm just going to go all around the wreath and completely cover it up. Once that was ready I did that tiny little foam tape pieces at the back for extra dimension and I'm going to place it on top of my foiled panel. I'm also going to add a few more extra leaves to make it look rounder since I do have that kind of a flat area on uh, where that mushroom is and I'm just chopping off a leaf so that it fits right there. For the sentiment I went with the one from the kit and I did fold it one more time on craft cardstock this time because I felt that the brown one wasn't standing uh, as much as I wanted to on top of the same colored cardstock as uh, my background. So now I'm going to add those uh, flowers and I did cut them out to be tinier, smaller. And I always find that when you use a dark background, it always helps the images that you add on top, the colorful images, to look even brighter. However, these are not really bright colors, since I only used muted, kind of muted colors from the Distress Oxide line. At the back of the brown panel, I did use foam tape. I'm going to stick it on top of a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half in craft color, matches the color of the sentiment. It's a lovely fall card, perfect for Thanksgiving or for any other occasion really this time of year. You can stop here, it looks absolutely stunning as it is, but if you want to take it a step further, like I did, you can add tiny little gems in copper color or in any other color that matches the colors of the leaves. So that was the project for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, just like always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area. Don't forget to like the video, to leave me a comment, I read them all. I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you all tomorrow with my new Mixed Media Tuesday.